Welcome, Welcome back to, to the basement, the friendliest place on YouTube. We're here playing Peter's Band-Aid story, and I'm gonna tell you about Skyward Sword. I mean, the other way around. It's up, down, left, right. And we're gonna up, down, left, right this into submission. Oops! Ah! A failure to execute. That makes the death row convicts lucky day. Oh, <gasps> you did almost it. Okay, let's try up, down, right, left. Okay. Now try down, up, left, right. What? Just in case back meant butt and rear meant back. Okay, now down, up, right, left. It's definitely gotta be one of those. Whoops. Okay, down. Down, up, right, left. Um, excuse me. Okay. At the end of the last episode, we found them all. Up. Down. Everyone thinks you're so great at the Get game, it. but it's really because I, what was it? It was up, down, left, right. For some reason, it didn't work the first time. Weird. Maybe it hadn't reset or when I had, we yeah, started. Maybe I hadn't done it right, or I don't know. Huh. But we got it. Uh, so I'm going to tell you my Band-Aid story that I, I teased about two weeks ago. And then instead of waiting one week to tell you the Keurig story, we told it right away. And then the next week, I played, so I didn't tell any stories. Except for the story of the game of the Legend of Zelda Skyward's S word. <laughs> Legend of Zelda Skyward S word. <laughs> have you ever thought about that? That the sword is the S word? I have thought about that so many times. But I kept it to myself because it's not it's not appropriate, Peter. Well, that's true. We are the um appropriatest place on YouTube. I hope you can swim, spider. Just kidding, I hope you can't. And you can die in that. What a dangerous place to live for something that can't swim. Yeah, just hanging out above the water. I'm just gonna cling to a wall where hanging out above gravity will kill the me. Water, above the water. Take me deeper where my bandit story is told. <laughs> Remember when, uh,. We had to play that song every week, because yep. everyone loved it. And then every worship pastor in the universe got tired of oceans. Still a good song. But it, it is a good song. It definitely got overplayed. It definitely got overplayed. Sometimes you have to set it down for a couple years and then revisit it, and you're like, oh yeah, Well, what the heck, man? Oh, we gotta just swim through here. Um, please note, you turned that upside down. That may be helpful for you da -da -da. somehow. da 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 what? Apparently, well, that one's bigger than the rest. Oh! There was a doorway. Bigger than the rest. Green to red. Machine Green head. head. Uh, my name is Ben, and I'm friends with Peter and Ted, and they're not going to say my last name on the internet because I don't want all my children to be harassed by the internet. Uh, so, Band-Aids. So, I... Okay. Okay. So... My wife was like, hey, I've been doing, I've been cooking dinner almost every dinner that we cook for um, years and years and years and years. Could you cook dinner sometimes? And I was like, sure. And then that became nacho night. Cook dinner every, every night. Every week. No, it like I had to cook real dinners and I had to learn real fast. And I've even taken over the grocery shopping. Frankly, wow. I'm not sure what my wife even does anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, burn! No, it's been good because it's helped me to like Branch uh, appreciate out. her more and take her less for granted, which I don't think was like the point, but it's definitely a nice side effect. But also, yeah, I've learned how to. I've learned what fennel is. One day I might even buy it. <laughs> don't don't ask any follow up questions because I don't actually know what fennel is. Uh, I wouldn't cook with fennel. Uh, if I would, my life depended on it. I would sooner cook with flannel in a funnel. Uh, but, but, the other night it was like, oh, we're gonna get home late from this thing that we're doing with our extended family and, and I don't want to cook and you don't want to cook and... Listen. Our middle child needs pants. I'm gonna go to the store that sells pants and groceries. Mm. And get some pants, and I'll just pick up something frozen that we can just put in the oven. There you go. Easy. And I was like, deal. And uh, she texts me, and she's like, all right, preheat the oven to this. And I was like, cool. And I did it, and she texted me like two minutes later, and she said, 
it takes two hours to cook. And I said, I'm gonna turn off the oven. And she said, I'll stop at Taco Bell. <laughs> so we ate Taco Bell for dinner. Nice. And what it was was frozen lasagna. And oh, the, yeah. And the frozen lasagna takes two hours. Why didn't you just get a frozen pizza, dude? Well, we were trying to do something just a little bit better. I don't know. I mean, like, pizza... Pizza happens often enough that we don't want to, like, have just, it be any I'm kind of I'm just saying, a frozen pizza probably would have been a better choice than Taco Bell. Oh. See what I'm saying? Uh, you just set your, you know, you, you gotta set your... Taco you, Bell is nice, You gotta set your standards a little lower so you don't stoop even lower than those standards. Well, our daughter <laughs> is a vegetarian, so... Well, Taco Bell's got vegetarian options. I know, that's why it was a good choice for us instead of a frozen pizza, because we got a uh, frozen pizza, then someone would have to pick meat off, or someone else wouldn't get any meat when they wanted it, or we'd have to get two pizzas and there'd I forgot be about the part where she's a vegetarian, that makes things complicated. So, Taco Bell was the right choice. Okay, you're right. But it was frozen lasagna, so then we had it later, and... Dude, Taco Bell's always the right choice. It came in, like, a foil tray, you know? The, yeah. The lasagna, with the foil lid. Wait, so you're going to have meatless lasagna? No, the lasagna had meat in it. And I was like, wait a minute, how was this a good option the other day anyway? Because Betsy's a vegetarian. She's like, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> so my pizza idea would have been even better anyway. Not better than Taco Bell. Uh, I, I, dude, I... Better than lasagna. Are we going to get Taco Bell tonight? I don't know. All this talking about Taco Bell is making me hungry. Taco Bell. Oh, T-A-L-K-O-B-E-L-L-E. <laughs> <laughs> Taco Bell. The wind, the winding root. Uh, so we got the lasagna, and it came in a tin tray, like a tin foil, like a disposable tray, and a, with a tin lid. And you're supposed to uh, can't do that yet. Cook it with the lid on for a while, and then take that off, and then cook it, and then tent the lid, and then let it cool. Or I don't know. Yeah, no, the oven lasagnas are a, are a thing. It's almost like you might as well just make. Your lasagna. own lasagna. It was pretty good. It was yeah, they're good. pretty tasty. Yeah, they're delicious. Uh, why don't you use bones, Tom? Oh, look, you're having a hard time not using bombs. Well, if you, I'll bet if you destroy that skull, it will be a bomb, and then you'll feel like, oh, I should have known that. Okay, now he's using bombs. Whoa, why you can't remote explode that bomb? <laughs> yes. Yes. Goodbye. Dude, he's like, where's my arms? And you attacked him, and he instantly had them back somehow. <laughs> anyway, we didn't finish the lasagna, and I was putting it away, and I was placing the tinfoil lid onto the tin tray, and then, like, moving my hands around the perimeter of the thing to sort of fold it in. And I gave myself the equivalent of a paper cut, but on a tin lid of a frozen lasagna tray. And that's a bad spot for a gamer to get a metal paper cut. Because I use that finger to press buttons on controllers, video game controllers. So I stuck a band-aid on it with like some Neosporin, which is supposed to make it heal faster, although it was the generic Neosporin because it's cheaper and just as effective with the same ingredients. But the band-aid was a little awkward, so I wrapped a second band-aid around the finger like Oh, heartbreaking. <laughs> that was sad. Uh, like a perpendicular, you know? Oh, now I've got four her arms. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> what? Then why? <sighs> Darny darn. You're better than me. Then why are you smiling? Because I too have a secret. I'm not left handed either. I'm four handed! <laughs> <laughs> Is that the Dread Pirate Roberts? Uh, so then I had a band-aid on the cut with the medicine and then another band-aid sort of around the band-aid to hold it in place. And then I went to bed with that like that last night and when I woke up this morning one was like hanging off and the other one was oh there but it was in the way. And like awkward and I was favoring the finger and everything. So we had this stuff in our medicine cabinet and it, it's called like liquid skin or liquid oh, yeah. band-aids and it's kind of like super glue but it's d doctors would recommend it rather than actual super glue but it's a little clear bottle of like glue and uh it's got the lid has like a paintbrush attached to the inside of it and you just yeah. dip it in the goo i love that stuff and then yeah. you paint it onto the cut and it worked great and it stings a little bit when it goes on so you know it's working 
Yeah, well, mine didn't sting, but also had spent a night with a band-aid on it. But it would just replace the band-aid and it fit rather than not fit the way a band-aid doesn't. So highly recommended and uh, Liquid Skin if you're looking for any sponsorship uh, gaming co-op YouTube family friendly friendliest place on YouTube channels to sponsor. Uh, try Mr. A game. You know those Australians are always ah! Do this lacerating their skin. Didgeridoos this... and dingoes lacerating their skin. I'm Wallabies. telling you, the, this, the. Do you got a stab when he does that pattern? There's only one that works per thing. I like how this is a super scary enemy, and the music's like. To the solo. All right, Ted's getting serious. He moved the microphone. He's sitting up straight. The chair's not going to recline him against his will any longer. He does not consent to accidentally sliding down the chair. All right. Left. Right. Stab. The dumb thing doesn't do what you try to do with it. Yeah, guys, I wasn't telling Ted what he should do. I was telling you. I'm so mad. I was telling you this guys. This game is stupid. What he was doing. Oh, remember the end of the last episode? Come on, you're having fun. Remember how much fun you're having. I'm not having fun. Have a positive outlook. Hey, the okay. pop filter doesn't do as much good when it's touching the microphone. It's true. But, oh, oh, that one's a bit saggy. And your pop filter looks like it's in bad shape, too. <laughs> Where was... <laughs> I was talking about something else. Well, at first, when I said... Where's the door that we went... Oh, saggy. This straight across. Yeah. Now that you've opened ye up the way... <sighs> that... Okay. This boss... The game is hard because the controls stink. Mm -hmm. That's not a good thing to do, game. No. Uh, especially with, like, a newer game that came out in the last 20 years I mean you can you can look at a game like Dragon's Lair and say yeah they didn't really have much to work with right but really come on this was for the Wii yeah because as we all know there were no Wii U Zelda games look now that we know he has four arms you can see that he's folding his arms he's like hmm, I'm disgusted and violent <laughs> I'm indifferent slash homicidal. <laughs> Talk about politics. Which party did you vote for? Indifference or homicide? I'll let you decide which one's which. There's only one right answer. <gasps> oh. Okay, I think part of this is you have to sort of like psych him out. See, why did it come from the bottom? And then when you swung correctly, you, he was like a millimeter past, excuse me, an eighth of an inch past uh, the tip of your sword. Uh, the Zelda universe uses Imperial and not metric measurements, if anyone's wondering. Game Over Jesse should do a series on that. Or Zeltic. I wonder if you could just stab almost every time. You can't. It doesn't count, apparently. What? This dumb room is too small. Like, Yeah, the room is small, and he's like constantly just A to B like moving towards you. He's like a zombie. Brrr. Link. Greens. <laughs> yes, good. One. Fun. We're having fun. Oh. See, he did a different thing and then you don't know. See, I don't know why. Just spam. Okay, hang on. Bombs, brah. Hit him with your beetle. <laughs> so I guess when he does the one thing, he's pokeable. Gotta poke them all. Whoop. Ooh. Oh my. Could he ever actually hit you twice with that two swing move? Feels like Link would just fall back and go, Bap! every time. This room is small. Yeah, I don't get to do like dodges. Clang! Ah! Ba! Ba! Three! Four! Let me catch you with the fourth one. That's a nasty axe. He is cool looking. The enemy is cool looking, and I like the variety of his weapons. 
And I also like that it feels like we're at the circus because of the music. So stupid. I was holding my sword to the side. Yeah. And then when I swung it, Link did like a diagonal. Yep. I wonder if uh, you need to like point at the center of the screen and press Y. I've been doing that over and over again to try to make sure that the thing that I'm trying to do is the thing it does. Why? For real. I legit think that you're having more trouble with this enemy than you did with the Thunderbird in Zelda 2 Adventure of Link. Which is saying something, because that boss is ridiculous. And like, the limits of the game should make it hard. Does that work? He that works while he's doing his one, two, three, four thing. There is, uh, I think there's a pot or a skull left. Yep, it's behind him right now. If you're interested, I don't know if he can do two full hearts of damage in a single hit right now or not. It's a good thing you spent your sacred your bottle on sacred water instead of red potion. Like it's a good thing the game forced us to do that. Right. Ba -ba 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 Ride the rides. One, two, three, four. Ooh, you're not good to his helmet off. Does that mean you can shoot him in his third eye with a slingshot Deku seed now? Sure, hope the heck not. To defeat him. <laughs> like, that's what you must do. Nice jump. Did a good job getting out of the way there. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, he's going fast now. Good use of the Skyward Strike. Oh, he's so mad. He's really upset right now. He's angry. His teeth are so pointy. If I could dress up as that guy for Halloween, I would. I will get my elbow out of your way. That was a cool move. Yes! Nicely done. Now he's just a stupid spine oh, no! on legs. <laughs> he slipped. Okay, yeah, that, that was that, funny. Da, da, da. Gosh, this game... The dumb motion controls make it worse That's cool. than it needs to be. Yep. Agree. I better get a good item after that. Not a, if, so help me, if this gives me a map... I'm gonna be mad. No, it's gonna be the item. It's gonna be like the hook shot or the whatever. Nope. You got the, the whip. whip! Attached to the end of the whip is a strange glowing sphere of light that can latch onto various things. It's a snot whip. It's like a blue booger with a booger on the end. It's a slimy booger string with blood on the other end. It's like you had a bloody nose yesterday and then you picked a slimy booger with a ball on the end out of your nose. <laughs> oh man, I, what if you could grab onto things with your booger strings and just pull? Grab on the things with the booger strings and pull. Grab on the thing with the booger string. <laughs> Dude, that's like a good jingle for booger strings. <laughs> Grab on the things with the booger strings and pull. Visit boogerstring.com for details. Ask your doctor if booger strings are right for you. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, um, did you ever see the worm candy commercial? Where there's two boys standing in the back of an elevator and like a business, a proper business yes. lady or something. It's like, want to try one of my worms? And the adult's like, like, oh no. Oh my. And then the other kid's like, hmm, sure. <laughs> oh, these are delicious. And she's like, oh, oh no. Oh. And like one guy in the elevator is like about to throw up. Yeah. Oh, gross. As a kid, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get some of those and then and get a friend in an into an elevator with business people. <laughs> Cause it will totally gross them out because they're so sensible and they don't even eat worms. <laughs> now I'm gonna use my book string to get across the gap. And I'll use the book string right now and I'll get across the gap. Cause I'll fling my book up on the thing and then I'll swing with Wee motion controls. Why did that turn into I'm proud to be an American? <laughs> you tell me, Peter. <laughs> You're the weirdo. Sometimes it just happens. Can't help it. I'm proud to be an American. Proud what, of what can I say? What can I say? You, you got the dungeon map! Mm. 
You were just complaining oh. about the dungeon map. Well, at least I didn't have to, like, fight, like, a big giant bad guy in order to get it, you know? This dungeon map is a piece of map! Were you allowed to say the C-R-A-P word when you were a kid? Probably not. Um... You weren't even allowed to go trick-or-treating. Oh, ha! How do you like that, you endangered animal? Uh, one will come right back out of its dead body. Okay, so up here was a door we can't get in yet. Correct a frundo. Hmm. Okay, this music is pretty cool. This is what chill dungeon music should sound like. There's a very distracting green flame in the middle of the bood. It's a sacred flame. Did it look like that on the map in on the Wii? But low definition? I don't know. Wait, mm. put that sacred flame right in the middle of the screen. Now double tap home. Dude, I'm telling you, this is my favorite trick. Yeah, look at that. Oh, it's so more. nice. Huh? Whoa! Uh. Uh. Wait, how's the Zelda 2 thing go? Uh. <laughs> That's how it goes. Oh, we're done with that. I feel we're so done. good. We're done. So nice. Yeah, it's good to be done with Zelda 2, man. I think we, I think we should have an all-whisper episode of The Basement. The but quietest place on YouTube. It's too late to start that in this episode, though, because we're already 20 minutes. <laughs> That'd be too... <laughs> like a 30-minute long whisper fest. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think the retention would do? I, I don't think it would be good. <laughs> Not great. <laughs> uh, let's put it like this. A poopy terrible. What were they thinking? It's a bunch of poopy butts. This video is a bunch of poopy butts stuck in my boot. All right, so what is next? Surely the menu will show. We just got the menu, and we got the booger tool, so we could, uh, the combination of those ought to open up something great. Like over oh. there. Oh, and all the plants that you turn upside down and they go boop, 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 boop. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, can we climb on the plants? You know of what I speak. You gotta shut off that uh, goober. Water, and we can do it. <clears throat> Oh, we'll have to. Be on this platform. Oh, there's a thing we can stand on. <gasps> it's almost like it was designed for wonderful. us. Mm. Thanks, so Ganon. I've been, I've been playing a lot of um, Metroid games. But can I not just get on this? And one thing that's nice about this is. If there's a thing that you can do in Zelda, it's the next thing you have to do. In Metroid, yeah. if there's a thing that you can do, chances are it's like a missile upgrade. <laughs> You're like, Dah! I yeah. traveled acro halfway across the map just for a missile upgrade. <laughs> I got the item and now I can do the thing. I can finally get and see what's behind the thing. Oh, it's a missile. It's not a missile upgrade. Totally optional. Exactly. When you've had enough missile upgrades, you really don't need any more. It's just numbers at that point. It's like Korok Siege. Birth of the Wild. Birth of the Wild? Breath of the Child. Excuse me. That was uh, like one of those distant storm thumber, thunder rumble burps. Yes. Ooh, it's Ted's favorite. Uh, but I wonder what this does with this guy. Nothing. Nothing, nothing. Dude, the kids found, like, this yellow and black spider Ew. in our yard. Ooh. And? It looks a lot like this, actually. Really? Yellow on its legs, but not so yep, much But it's a super, super common uh, spider in the North America. And is it it's venomous? Just, it, it kind of. Like, I mean, really mildly, or? Uh, like a bee sting, Ooh. actually. Is but it slow or fast? The spider, like a fast-moving spider? Right. Or a fast-moving venom? <laughs> oh, no, no, the spider himself. Look, there's three Ooh. eyeballs. I can wonder I if you can whip them with your bug. Surely, oh, come on. That would have been really can. cool. You just have to swing it straight down. That's not how this game works. That's true. It seems like this only really doesn't work quite like that. Why would it be right there? I know, it's just taunting us. 
What did we get here? You came up here. This is... I know. Did we get anything useful? <sighs> what was in there, basement dwellers? Comment below. Deku seeds? So you're saying shoot this? Well, I was saying booger snot it. Well, that doesn't seem to do anything. You better shoot the third one just to be safe. Nope. Yeah. Okay. So apparently... Oh, I think I know what we gotta do. Ted has had an epiphany, and now he's gonna call Tiffany and tell her to put it on a shirt. That's the name of the girl that puts things on shirts for us. That's true. Actually. She's pretty cool. I'm not gonna say your last name, and I'm certainly not gonna say Anderson. Because that's not her last name. It's not. It's not Good luck name. finding Tiffany Anderson. <laughs> There's a zillion of them. It's like uh, the crates in the warehouse at the end of Ark of the Covenant, where the Ark is in one of them. But it's a warehouse. That's Just a, a big warehouse full like of crates. Square miles. It's like find, trying to find a needle in a stack of needles. Yeah, it's like trying to find a, hay, a piece of hay in a a silver stack needle of in a stack of aluminum needles. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! It's like trying to find a. It's like trying to find that one joke that Peter and Ted told one time six years ago. Sometimes people find those. That's pretty amazing. Okay, you see that over there? Yeah. Thing right by Link's face, way out on the other side. Why don't you just pan to it once you're zoomed in? <laughs> you zoomed in and then didn't pan to it. Dude, I don't you're know stuck how to in use a that. maze, and well, it's just the left stick. You gotta pan. Listen, this isn't Pan's Labyrinth. That was a bit of a reach for a Pan Labyrinth joke. Although, are Pan Labyrinth jokes ever not a reach? Comment below. Dude, you haven't booger flicked that. Sticky flicky yet, but maybe it just turns back on the, the fish thing vomit. by the fish. Yeah, that's the thing that I'm sure we got to get But I don't know how we get up there. We'll go around the room Okay, fine either, either the clockwise. I mean counterclockwise Dude, you could totally get that did we go in the fish mouth there? Yeah, yeah. you did and that's where it was nothing was there. Yeah, that's where we got the Deku seeds or whatever Oh, yeah, how do we cross there? Right. Mm. Trixie. Let's call Trixie. Maybe she'll know. That's the name of the gal that puts things on our socks. Trixie Anderson. Good luck finding her. <laughs> There's like seven of them. <laughs> Only two live in Minnesota, though, so that's a coin flip after that. But does our Trixie live in Minnesota? You'll never know. <laughs> Except you will if you stay tuned to the end of this episode when I reveal all. Including her social security number. <laughs> I'm having a hard time enjoying this Peter's game? humor because <laughs> this game is so frustrating. Alright, well I'll dumb. tell a good joke that many of the people watching this video may not have heard before, but you definitely have. Uh, a bit of Simpsons trivia. What is Charles Montgomery Burns' social security number? I'll give you all a moment to, One. to ponder it. That's what you guessed last time I told this joke. Because he's so old. Yeah. Is that right? That's the joke, but that is not right. Okay, here's his social security number. He doesn't say zero, he says not. N-A-U-G-H-T. <laughs> not, not, not. Not, not. Not, not. Not. Two. It's his second born person in the yeah. US. And then he, well, since the social security numbers were invented and implemented. And, not, uh, not, not, and not, then, not, not, too. And he's mad at uh, Dwight D. Eisenhower, who apparently is number one. <laughs> oh, dude, flip that one! Da 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 it's time to climb, and then you're gonna have a bow when you fall, and it flips over and it plays the Donkey Kong death theme. <laughs> Clink -clink. Nice <laughs> aim. <laughs> Dude, it's not the way to go, though. It's just a red rupee. This is like a Metroid missile upgrade, except worse. It's 9.15. Why is our Twitch activity feed up? Because technically you're signed into Twitch with OBS. Oh, this is so boring. I'm gonna start scheduling out next week's videos. Oh my gosh <laughs> Dude, this is this is bad 
I can't. YouTube's favorite my search is engine suffering. answer to Microsoft Excel. Dude, I love our Excel calendar. It excels at letting us know what's coming up next. This is Skyward Sword episode 24, and if everything goes according to plan today, is Saturday, September 25th, 2021. How's life treating everyone in September 25th, 2021? Back here on September 8th, the day we're recording, I could say that life is treating me fine. I've got glue on my band-aid and my Keurig is working again, so... <laughs> That's always good. We've got that going for... Hey, how... Aren't... Look how much fun you're having! <laughs> Man, these I gimmicks... I am not having fun. Nintendo's... <laughs> what the heck?! <laughs> Stupid! <laughs> These gimmicks of Nintendos, man. I tell you what, they really they take a video game from being an individual uh, loser in his mom's basement stereotype kind of thing to uh, a bunch of people playing together and having fun, or at least complaining together and having fun not having fun. <laughs> Seriously, the most you, I would say a solid forty percent of my fun in Skyward Sword HD is me saying, "Look how much fun I'm having," dryly, because I'm not. Ah, uh, I just want to leave. I want to leave this room and I want to find the next thing to do. Why don't you make like a banana and leaf? Whoops. I dropped the keyboard. Did I just delete our YouTube channel? No, no, we're good. <laughs> YouTube channel over. <laughs> oh, but you did share the password to our bank account. One, two, three, four. There, okay, here's the door out of here. This is not the way to go. One, two, three, four is the balance to our checking account. That's right, $12.34 in the basement. Checking with Popular Bank that I'm not going to tell you. Okay, hang on. Because now that you is know there, the uh, password and the balance. Is that, does that mean you play the harp there? I don't know. Why don't you bug up there and pull your harp out? <laughs> Okay, so noses are gross and butts are gross. What if a nose could fart? Oh, that would smell. Like instantly. That's the problem. What the? Ted's having fun with the motion controls. There, it wasn't aligned. <laughs> Pull out that <laughs> harp. Dude, it's harp time. You can't get over there unless there's some other way that we're not thinking of. Try it. Yeah, this no, it means a bird statue. Because there's one to your right right now. <gasps> no more what fart jokes. Okay. We agreed to that pretty quick. Well, Dry on a popcorn fart. Well. Well. All right, all right, all right, all right. There, it's got to be the fish. There's nothing else that we could even do except go in that fish's mouth, man. Sacred water location. We already did that. Lake Floria, Skyward Sword walkthrough. Is this where we are? No, this is the um. The water temple. Or the cist ancient cistern. Dude, my sister is so old. <laughs> ancient sister. My ancient sister. Talk about a dungeon. Polygon? No. Thumbs down. Thumbs down for Polygon. If you want to give Polygon a thumbs down, give this video a thumbs up. There's a chest back here. There's a door. Yeah, the Deku seeds. Dude, I'm telling you, man. There's... This what? should totally be able to... Pull out the... Yeah. Are you kidding? Uh... You had to Z-target the stupid thing? Well, you weren't Z-targeting? I mean, I'm acting like, well, duh. Oh, man, that was 30 minutes of useless. You know what? It was 30 minutes of fun, because I told a story about liquid skin, and uh, I said what date it was and what the balance of our bank account would be if it were 1234. So, I'd say all in all, it's uh, maybe our best YouTube video yet. <laughs> <laughs> right up there. I'm going to be honest, I think it's our best YouTube video ever. Dude, we should call this episode Breath of the Wild Boring Moments. We should call this episode... Yeah. Right now. In, In the, the basement. basement! Oh, that was smooth. <laughs>